Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Today's February 23rd, 2014. Right, there's a play I like today in basketball, and that's the Chicago Bulls who are on a win streak, who have statistically one of the best defenses in the league, but yet you're getting seven and a half points because they're playing the defending champion Miami Heat on a Sunday in a high profile game. Right, I like the seven and a half, I like the underdog in that play more importantly. If you're like me and you fool around with uh, futures bets, right? And right now you're thinking about the few teams, and they're never more than, let's say, six teams that can win the NBA championship. If you're thinking about the few teams that have a shot at winning the NBA championship, and if you're invested in the Eastern Conference in two teams, the Miami Heat, right, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and them, defending champions. They've been to the NBA Finals three years running right now, right? The Miami Heat and the Indiana Pacers, who I consider to be a better team. You remember them, Paul George, Lance Stevenson, Roy Hibbert and them, right? If you're invested in those two teams, but you want to protect the play a little bit because you understand that sometimes lesser teams can get on rolls and can upset the apple cart. And if you want cheap insurance where the casino is giving you big leverage so you can sit down and watch a playoff contest between, let's say, the Miami Heat and some other team before you get to the Eastern Conference Finals, then I hope you take a look at the Chicago Bulls right here at 50-1 to 1 to win the whole thing. Keep in mind, we're not making these picks expecting the Chicago Bulls to win the whole thing. Rather, this is really a strategic play to protect the rest of our betting portfolio. Right? So right now, I personally feel that there are really only two teams that can win the Eastern Conference in the NBA. That's the Heat, and that's the Pacers. Right? But... If some casino is silly enough to give me 50 to 1 on a team that has Tom Thibodeau, excellent head coach, as its coach, a team that even post Lull Day has spectacular defense and that right now is on a winning streak, sign me up. This way I'll be the guy watching a playoff series. Let's say it's Indiana against the Chicago Bulls and I'll be cool, calm, and collected because I'll know I'm on both sides of the play. Right? I'll know I'm on both sides of the play. In fact, I'll know I got big leverage on both sides of the play. I was able to pick up the Pacers relatively early at huge odds. Right? That's the way you beat the casino, in my opinion. You get strategic positions Right, And then, as the season plays out, you understand that you profit if either wins. Right, So, if you're looking for a good value proposition right here on a futures play that, quite frankly, is way overvalued, take a look at the Bulls, the above 500 Bulls, by the way at 50 to 1 to win it all. Let's quickly shift gears to the Western Conference. I hope by now you figured out that certain teams are not real in my opinion. That's you Portland, right? Certain teams are shaky, right? I'll tell you what, I'll start believing in the Los Angeles Clippers. When I see DeAndre Jordan hitting free throws. How about this? If DeAndre Jordan gets to 60% from the free throw line, then I'll start believing in the Clippers. Understand, if he can't hit 60% from the free throw line, I don't care how well he blocks shots. Doc Rivers cannot have him out there 
at the end of games. Right? And so the problem with the Clippers, in my opinion, is they don't have the well-rounded players that a team like the Indiana Pacers have. They have guys like J.J. Redick, who, great shooter, can't play defense. They have guys like DeAndre Jordan, great shot blocker, can't hit the side of a barn from the free throw line. Right? And then Blake Griffin, I'll tell you what, I saw that All-Star game. He looked great dunking the basketball. Who doubted that Blake Griffin, a former slam dunk champion, can dunk the basketball? Let's just say the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar back to the basket game is missing from his repertoire. Right? Let's just say if it's a fast break, he looks great. You and I know in the playoffs, it's going to be more of a half-court game. Right? So in my opinion, the Clippers... Too risky for me. I think right now the West comes down to really only two teams. The Oklahoma City Thunder. And the San Antonio Spurs. And let me just say, of those two teams, and of course injuries could easily change it all. If you hear Kevin Durant has a torn ACL, cross the Thunder off your list. Right? But. Assuming everyone stays healthy, and you know the players, right? The Kevin Durants, the Tim Duncans, right? The um, Manu Ginobili's. Assuming everyone stays healthy. What I want you to do is to take a hard look at the Spurs' depth. It's stunning, right? Cowie Leonard is one of the league's best perimeter defenders. If you want to see a guy who, off the bench in a blink of an eye, can put up 25 points, underrated guard, look at Patrick Mills. You know what, Corey Joseph, you might remember him years ago, he was a McDonald's All-American. This team is so deep, you almost forget about him, right? This guy could literally come in, play 25, 30 minutes, not turn over the ball, give you some offense, give you above average defense. He's lost in the shuffle on a team with Tony Parker. Right? There are so many guys hitting threes on this team that I haven't even mentioned. The All Star Weekend three point champion, Marco Bellinelli. Right? Nor have I mentioned, you know, others on this team who could nail the three. Danny Green. Right? You remember Danny Green? He was the guy who was the story of the league early in last year's NBA Finals. Right? So the San Antonio Spurs are not to be messed with or taken for granted. When you see players like Boris Diaw, I know he's older. Right? I know he's not on your all-star ballot. I'm not saying he's a future Hall of Famer. What I am saying, though, is... Boris Diaw is not a specialist. Whatever you need, Boris Diaw can give you. He's well-rounded. Passes the ball when he needs to. Rebounds the ball when he needs to. Can score when he needs to. Those are the guys who beat you. In the playoffs, you want to know who beats you? It's well-rounded players on deep teams. Right? Why did Miami make it to three? consecutive NBA Finals, LeBron is probably the best in the game, <clears throat> right? But go back and look at the box score for Game 7 of last year's NBA Finals. You'll be astonished at Dwayne Wade's stats. Let's remember the end of Game 6 of last year's NBA Finals. Chris Bosh gets the rebound, throws it out to Ray Allen. Right? There are guys playing with LeBron James. The Miami Heat is a multi-headed monster. Right? So food for thought. I still don't think, by the way, they're as good as the Indiana Pacers. That's another story. We'll save that for a future conversation. The point of this video, and let me get out of here before the 10-minute mark, is that when a casino is offering you 50 to 1 on the Bulls, you need to take that because that'll give you a nice hedge and an opportunity to bet even more money on the teams you think that actually have a chance to win it all. Let me hear from you. Let me hear about your team. Let me hear about the teams I missed. 
Leave your message for me here online. Thanks for stopping by.